Hi, this is Prasanjit from Informatica GCS. Today I will explain Excel to XML using data processor. So first of all to use data processor you need to have MRS, DIS and uh, you need to have the license and structured data. Let's start with the demonstration. I have already created a project demo1 and I'll create the transformation data processor I need to add a script which will convert Excel file to XML let's go to object click on new script parser now I need to add the reference schema reference schema is the target schema as my target is XML I need to add a reference XSD so in that case I have already created it I can select it from here so let's create a new one create from schema browse so this is my schema which I have already written This is a very basic XSD with ID, name and gender elements. So whatever the XML file will be created, it will have uh, one root element and inside that three elements, ID, name and gender. Let's start with the developer. So I'll choose this schema. Okay. Next. It will show the root element persons. Now it will ask for the example source. Whatever parser script I will be writing, I need an example source by which my parser script logic will be built. So here I can choose the file here also or during the parser script writing I can choose. Here I will choose none. I uh, will choose the example source letter. Finish. So here is the starting of the parser. First of all I need to choose the example source. I have the example source Excel one excel file excel dot my excel dot xls it has three columns serial number name and gender so as for my xml file id should be having this data name should be having this data and gender should be having this data let's start with the parcel logic first of all i need to choose the example source it is a local file double click on the file name part and select the file. Once I select the file I can see in the data viewer section non-readable format is there. After selecting this file I need to select the preprocessor. Here is a preprocessor double click drop down. As it is an XLS file I will choose Excel data to XML. We have three four options for Excel to XML depending on the Excel source version we are using see once I chosen that Excel data to XML the example source view is changed now I, we can see the data in already in XML format but we don't need this data all the data right because row number cell number we don't need we just need the data in XML like ID name and gender we, we don't have any uh, requirement to get cell number so that's why we need to write a parcel logic which will fetch only the required data like one name gender like that so let's start with the parcel logic so first of all I need to mark from where I need to f uh, I want to fetch the data so I will fetch the data from here so I can mark in that position or in that position so let's start from that position. I'll just copy this keyword. I'll add a marker in my parser. Search. I'll be searching by text and the example text would be this. Once I choose that, if I come to data viewer, I can see that particular portion got marked. After that, whatever I will get as content, it will be selected the full after that, not before that. So this is my marker and this is my content. 
so here in the content I need to choose what is the opening marker I'll s make it for text search and I'll be looking for data see the data got marked and the closing marker again for text search and it will be slash data so these two data got marked and this position the red color is my content I want to put this content in my XML element I will maximize it so here is the element list ID name gender I will put this in ID so I will double click on ID ID is getting selected similarly I will choose again data data and I will put the data holder in name I will copy that content paste it here I will just change the data holder because the data is same here opening and closing marker see once I copied that the next data data got selected so I will just double click on the data holder and I will double click on name so see one and name got selected next is gender again the same steps copy paste and just change the data double click on the gender so in this case I have selected only for the first row if I run that data viewer only for the first row my result got XML file got created now I need to make it for all the rows available in my source file so for that I need a repeating group let's add a repeating group here so repeating in repeating group you need to give the separator and what is the position of the separator we need to so let's put it as before and for the separator I will put a marker what should I mark here I can see every row is getting started and ending with this slash row and row so I look for row and I need to put this content and markers whatever I have written for the single row inside that repeating group so I'll just control X and I'll put everything inside that repeating group see according to my repeating group first of all the row got marked in different color that means each loop will be running from this to this portion and inside that I have my marker after that I have my content now in my marker I have written row number one row number two like that way so here it may not work just because to show the example of the first row I have selected that marker actually marker is not required here because inside that reporting group I have already put the marker as row so in the content whenever I will put for search for data it will directly come for this data so I'll just delete this marker see once I deleted all this got marked in different colors this color is showing what should be the my what should be my loop this color is showing what should be the opening and closing marker for each content let's run this see now we can see that XML file for all the records present in the Excel file so data processor is ready control s save now I'll create a mapping new mapping mapping Finish. 
so first of all I need a source let's create one I'm looking for a flat file data object there I will just pass the file name Excel file name and the data processor input I will select it as file type let's create it at empty next I'll just fix it will be fixed with I need to add a row here and I'll set the precision as per my length required length go to advanced and I need to set the file name here it is working like indirect file list I am giving the file name as input.txt in that input.txt I will provide the absolute path and file name of that excel file so source directory is by default it is info home tomcat bin source Let's save it I will do the data viewer and we can see what is the data it is showing for that flat file object So here is the data, I'll just expand it. See, the data is showing my Excel.xls. This data I will be forwarding till the data processor as input. Let's go to the data processor and make the input as file. It's already selected as file initially it should be looking like this buffer you need to manually go there and make it as file here I want my output also will be coming as file because the length of the XML file could be larger so I want to make it as file the moment I will make it as file one more input row will be created like output file name I need to provide the absolute file name and path from uh, as an input to the data processor so that the moment it will create the XML file it will be creating in that particular name and path so let's go to the mapping I will save the data processor my source is ready I'll just drag it as read after that I need an expression where I will put the absolute path and file name of the output from the data processor I will add one more port in the expression go to properties ports new ports Precision. I want it as same. It should be as output, and I need to hard code the file path and name. Okay. So validate. Now I'll drag the data processor. So the first port is the input file. I'll and the second port is output file name. I'll drag both. And as of now, I'll just create the auto target as flat file. So my mapping is ready. Let's run it. So the mapping run got successful. Let's see the output file. Here is the output file got created. 
XML file with all the required tags and elements from the Excel file. So that's it. In this video KV, I will be attaching the export of this mapping along with the data processor and sample file. You can download it, import it and start parsing. I will just show a few steps to import the mapping. Right click on any project wherever you want to import. Click on import. Informatica. As I will be giving you the mapping attachment, you can choose this basic. If you want to just import the data processor, you can choose this data transformation. So it is single. So let's go for this. Next, you need to browse to the mapping and then say, say yes. Just remember one thing. If you are importing the mapping, you need to be aware of the version you are using because it is version dependent. Here I have used 10 to 0. So you need to import it in 10 to 0 client. Otherwise, data processor is version independent. You can import it in any version using that data transformation single option. Thank you for watching this video. We would love to hear from you about your query and uh, any other information if you need. Uh, thank you once again.